Hello, my Glina Fire student. It is your coach, Glina. So, welcome to the video on paint production process. In this video, we'll be talking about paint production process. So, let's dive straight into the course. Paint manufacturing involves several stages from the selection of raw materials to the final packaging of the paint. So, we'll be discussing steps involved in paint production process. Paint manufacturing involves several stages from the selection of raw materials to the final packaging of the paint. Number one, chemical selection. The process begins with the careful selection of chemicals, including pigments, binders, solvent, additives, and fillers. The choice of raw chemicals depends on the desired properties and performance characteristics of the paint you want to produce. Number two, preparation of pigment and fillers. Pigment and fillers are processed to achieve the desired size, dispension, and colors. These steps may involve grinding, milling, and dispensions to create a uniform texture. This is when you're using chemical. But for those that will be using stick or hand mixer it involves carefully mixing of colors and fillers with the machine that is to say for those that already have bigger machine you understand can go ahead to grind the chemicals before this chemical so like i said for those that already have the bigger machine can go ahead and do the process of producing that paint with the bigger machines which is called the grinding, you understand? Because when you add your chemicals inside, the machine grinds all the pigment and everything. For those of us that are small scale producers that are either going to be using the turning stick or we're going to use the hand mixer. First of all, you have to first dissolve your pigment, which is your color. Then now add it into your production and then you use your stick to stir your production vigorously, you understand? Same process with the hand mixer. You dissolve your pigment and then add it to your production and then you hold your hand, um, hand mixer to stir your production. Number three, formulation. So chemicals are mixed in process formulation to create a paint mixture. This includes combination of pigments, Binder, sovereignty, and additive in specific ratio. Thorough mixing is essential to make your paint come out well. That is why it is advisable to use proper measurement to give you exact production process formulation. Number four is grinding and blending. The paint formulation is subjected to further grinding or blending to achieve the desired consistencies, texture, and practical distribution. This step is essential for smooth application and coverage. For hand mixer or stick toners, the paint formulation requires mixture of all chemicals for smooth application on the wall. So that is to say, either you're using a hand mixer or a toning stick, do not get a, um, discouraged. You can also produce a good texture paint after your production process. Number five, quality control. Samples are taken from the formulation to perform quality control tests, ensuring that the paint meets desired standards for color, velocity, adoration, and other purposes. Determine the quality control measures. So what are these quality control measures? Number one, lumps in paint. Two, paint was three. Three, paint must not chalk or when applied on the wall after drying, stains the cloth or body. Number four, paint must not peel from the wall. Number five, the paint color must not fade away. Number six, the paint must have good paint coverage. So these are the quality control measures when it comes to paint production process. So when your paint has undergo or pass all these quality control measures, that simply means that the paint is um, a good paint. That's just like I said, to avoid all this 
quality control measures in pain production process. You're going to see all the stated process on how you can avoid them. You understand? It's in your free ebook. When you get your free ebook, you go through it like I always advise you. Don't skip any pages, don't skip any videos. Watch your videos, go through your free ebook to get the proper knowledge when it comes to pain production process. To avoid all those little mistakes that can cost you huge problem because returning back of your product affects your brand and of course affects your income so to be on the safe side you have to tackle the um, paint um measurements you understand so you have to read through and know how to how to so to be on the safe side like i said you have to tackle the quality control measures so in your ebook, you read through it how to avoid this little mistake you understand. Number seven, packaging. Filled containers are labeled, sealed, and prepared for distribution. Packaging materials may include labels and instruction for use. Number eight, quality testing. The final paint products undergo quality testing to ensure it meets performance, safety, and regulatory standards. This testing includes checks for colors, accuracy, velocity, drying time, and adoration. And it can be done by individuals. Since you're a small paint producer, all you need to do is to apply small parts of your paint on the wall to let it dry for a time and undergo all this testing process bios number nine storage so paint is stored in appropriate condition to maintain its quality unit before it is supplied to retailers or customers number 10 distribution packaged paint is distributed to retailers stores wholesalers or other distribution channels where it is made available for sales Number 11, application. So end users purchase this paint and apply it to surfaces for various purposes, such as decorative, protection, or road marking. In that way, they will also test the quality of your paint, that's your brand. So it is important to note that this specific production process can vary depending on the type of paint being produced like water-based paint or oil-based paint, and the intent application to varies, which is interior or exterior paint. So join me in the next video where I'll be talking about marketing and sales. Yes, it is very important that in as much you, you're going to learn how to produce your own brand paint. It is also important that you learn how to market and sell your products because paint production process is not all about producing. You also have to learn how to market and sell your product. Like I said, marketing has different channels. So in the next video, I'm going to be explaining to you all the process on how you can market and sell your own paint production. Brand. Bye, see you in the next video.